I'd already been in the jewelry business when I discovered Providence, Rhode Island. Providence is home not only to the industrial age, but to the jewelry industry, and this industry that was in disarray, and a lot of it was being taken to the scrapyard. And so when you look in the background behind me, you can see some of the artwork that has been hauled back here from Providence. In fact, when you tour the workshop, what you see is a lot of first industrial age. Before there were any kind of electricity, these were a bunch of human-powered machines. The three different um, parts of our business, there's the boutique, which serves our retail customers, the Museum of American Jewelry Design and Manufacturing that is a regional tourist attraction, and then there's the factory itself. We've been known for designing and manufacturing filigree rings for the trade for over 30 years. Another thing like that, that is wedding bands that have these intricately engraved designs that go all around the circumference of the ring. There is no beginning and there is no end, and a lot of people like that attribute in a wedding band. Our most valuable machine to me is the tools that make up the Gorham Workshop. They do a great job of demonstrating the actual limits of what a human can do with artisanal craft with their hands. So while all of the jewelry we make is beautiful, all of the jewelry designs are full of allegorical and symbolic images. And so from the, from the very first time that we could start manufacturing artwork, the artwork is stuck in, in, in the pieces that we make.